Hi, it's Nell with the blog Joyous Garden, and I'm starting this intro over here just so you can see my new plumeria. Yes, plumeria do grow in the desert. I live in Tucson, Arizona. I inherited this from someone, but I just wanted to show it to you. I know it's kind of bright in the background, but this video is all about a wonderful houseplant I want to share with you. So if you want a houseplant that stays small and looks great, Stick around for that. So I share videos about gardening both indoors and outdoors here, both in the long form and shorts. So be sure and check out the shorts too. I would love to have you come back and see more and also to subscribe if you're new, welcome. If you're coming back to watch another video, Welcome back! So here it is. It's the Ripple Peperomia or Peperomia caparata. Peperomia plants in general are called radiator plants. But why I love this plant is because it stays in this nice form, doesn't get huge, doesn't outgrow its pot, has a really nice texture to it and a shape and I am repotting plants a lot just because they're growing and getting all crazy and this one grows a little bit wide but not that much so that's the reason why I love this plant I just love to feel it too I love the foliage it's sort of um watery succulent like I'm just gonna be going over the points fairly fast here or as quickly as I can you know without blabbing on too much but there is a blog post with a lot more details and the link to that will be at the top of the description box down below and also on our website joyousgarden.com so you can get a lot more details there so first of all I will introduce you to my new my new kitty cat this is Tiki Tiger Taz Razmataz his name came as Tiger but I call him Tazzy because my kitty, my kitty Riley died, my sweet little gray kitty, uh, who you saw in some videos. He died in February, so I got Tazzy to keep Sylvester company in May. And he is, he just turned six years old. So anyway, huh? And you're very happy about this video because the plant that we're gonna be talking about is safe for pets. All right, so that ends the, that ends the kitty cat portion of the video. <laughs> this plant is used as a tabletop plant. It has a slow to moderate growth rate. And in my experience, it grows wider than it does tall. It might grow a little faster here because I'm in a very warm climate, so, uh, but, but uh, otherwise don't expect it to grow really fast, but that's why I, I like it. And the size is, depends on what pot size you get it in, but mine right now, which I've had for three to four years, is about nine inches tall by about 15 inches wide. And in terms of lighter exposure, it loves moderate bright light. I have it in my kitchen. I've got four good size, you know, windows and a patio door here. So it gets lots of nice bright light, but it doesn't get any direct sunlight at all because it'll burn. And if you have it in light that's too low, it's not going to grow that much and it's going to start to look a little sad. Watering and how often to water. This is a really hard one to say because it depends on the size of the pot the plant is in, the soil it's in, how warm or how cool you keep your house. If you're dry or you're humid, there are a lot of variables that go in, but I can tell you that you want to water it when it's about three quarters of the way dry. For me here in Tucson, Arizona, I water mine in the summer about every five to six days and in the winter months it's about every seven to ten or twelve days but 
I live in the sunniest state in America, so we get a lot of sun and more heat here. You probably will not have to water as often. Temperature and humidity. Average home temperatures and average humidity is just fine for this plant. The reason why I wanted to do this video is because I live in the desert and this plant just looks fabulous, not a brown tip or anything at all. So if it can tolerate the dry air here, it'll be able to tolerate it in your home also. So in terms of fertilizing and feeding, yes, please. Uh, spring, summer are the best times. I feed into early fall, but again, we have a very long growing season here, so that's why I fertilize a little bit longer. Like, for instance, today is, what is it, September 19th or 20th, and it's 98 degrees, so we're still having summer, even though it's fall on Thursday. So uh, I, just, I just do everything a little bit longer here. I repot more into the fall also and I fertilize a little bit longer than you might but I do um, three times during the season I use maxi and then I alternate three times with grow big I used to use Eleanor's VF 11 but just haven't been able to find that so I've substituted it with grow big so any house plant fertilizer any balanced house plant fertilizer you use will be fine for this plant I'm gonna leave some other options that I like in the blog post for you so if you are like mm, I don't know what to use check it out so let's zoom in on it so we can see how beautiful the foliage is I just think it's such a pretty plant anyway on to pruning you know, I love to prune, but I don't prune this plant, <laughs> which is fabulous. The stems are very, very soft and very juicy, as I said. And because it grows so densely, you might get some leaves that get crowded out underneath. And all I do, like for instance, is I just pinch them off. And that's all you need to do. But in terms of pruning, I have not done any in the years I've owned this plant. Yay! Repotting. Um, I have done a uh, post on repotting peperomia, so I'm just going to leave that for you to uh, I'll leave the link down below. I mean, so you can check that out rather than go into it here, but I am going to go into it in the blog post for you. So in terms of pests, I've never seen any on mine at all, any of my peperomias. I have two over on the patio table I, I'm, I'm going to show you soon, but I haven't uh, seen anything. But they are, they are susceptible to spider mites and mealybugs, and I've done a blog post on both of those, so I will leave the link for you in the blog post on this one. So, on to pet safety. I have two cats, and I know many of you have, have pets, and... This one is considered to be non-toxic, so that is good news. And on to flowers. You're probably wondering what these are. These are the flowers. So they're not particularly showy, as you can see, but they are interesting. So if you've never seen if you've uh, seen one before and you've wondered what it was, that's it. Um, this one is sort of on the tail end of flowering now. It put out a lot of flowers. If the plant is happy, yes, it will flower. So this is really an easy care house plant. It, I can't say enough good things about it. And I have, uh, I have four over there and I have two other kinds of Peperomia is still in the house and they're all very easy care. So now I'm going to walk you over to the table and show you a few of the other Peperomias I have. All very easy to care for too. 
So here they are here, and you can see how they all vary. You know, this is the plant I'm going to be talking about in the video back here. But this is the baby rubber plant, which I've done a few posts on that. Links will be in the blog post and also down below in the description box. I haven't done one on this. This is a Peperomia Hope. As you can see, it's very different. Actually, these all have a different, you know, look. These are a little similar in the shiny leaves, but this one is a great one. This is the raindrop, and you can see how fun the flowers are on this one. And this one actually blooms a lot. Okay, so that is the Peperomia Show and Tell. So I know I have said this before, but there is a blog post to go along with this, and there will be much more information in there. You can find it down below or at joyousgarden.com. And speaking of Joyous Garden, we also do blog posts that don't have videos to them. So there might be something over there waiting for you that you're very interested in. So go check it out. So I hope you have found this video about this extremely easy care house plant to be helpful. I have more videos coming your way so uh, stay tuned for those. I thank you for all your likes and your subscribes. I really appreciate them. Now let's get into our indoor gardens and make our worlds a more beautiful place. As always, I thank you so much for watching. Be sure to come back. Bye for now and happy fall.